Welcome back to round four of the 2023 NRL predictions. I had a very good round this week, six out of eight. A uh, good bounce back from the first two weeks where combined I only had seven. Uh, so th this was a very good week. I felt confident going into it. Unfortunately, uh, the Cowboys let me down and another team let me down. Uh, the sh Sharks? I think the Sharks let me down uh, against the Raiders. So disappointing uh, those two games, but nonetheless, very happy that I got 6 out of 8. Um, that brings it to just over half of my tips right for the season, which is, is not necessarily the best. Uh, but I'm moving up. That's all that means. Um, a quick look at the ladder. Here we've got the Broncos and Dolphins sitting pretty on top of the table. Uh, with Manly behind, only up there because they've got the, they had the bye, uh, so they get the extra two points for that. Uh, but this week's games are going to be very very interesting, particularly one which we'll get to in a momentum, momentum, m -m 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 Anyway. Moving on. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the round, shall we? To kick off the round, we have Eels versus Panthers. Panthers fresh off a bye. And as I said last week, Eels, they are versing literally everyone who's had a bye uh, for the next, I think that's only two more weeks. They got Panthers off a bye and then they've got uh, the... Who do they have? Roosters. Next week, uh, off a bye. I can't remember if the week after, but that's that's down the track. So, very happy to say that they're 3-0. and oh, Sorry, not 3-0. and oh. <laughs> Who am I kidding? They're 0-3 um, to start the season, which is great. Um, and Panthers, uh, they're going to be my pick there. They're the easy pick for this, for this game. Uh, I, Eels could bounce back. Uh, but in saying that, Panthers off a bye, they're going to be fresh, and they're still the premiership, uh, reigning premiership team, so I think they're still going to be good enough to, to uh, beat the Eels in this game. This game here, Storm vs Tigers. If I had to go through or go back and do my um, pre-season predictions like the daily m premiers premiership winners and all that jazz wooden spooners i gave the tigers too much faith i i believe this is your wooden spoon team uh, yeah so unfortunately for them i'm going storm storm i believe will bounce back uh there's still a good enough team uh, to win Could Tigers have an upset who knows that that would be interesting uh, Kickstart their season with a huge win over the storm um, So that would be good. That would be very nice actually Here we are this is gonna be probably the game of the round because like I showed on the ladder, it is 1v2. Uh, so this is going to be excellent. Uh, what more could you ask for? The It's a Brisbane derby. Both teams in the Brisbane area. Uh, I guess the Dolphins are in the Moreton Bay region. But eh, they're Brisbane. So unfortunately for the Dolphins, they've lost Kafusi who is their enforcer in their team. Uh, he's been playing, I want to say, almost lights out um, so far this year, putting big hits on, really putting on a statement for the Dolphins. Um, at the end of the day, though, I will not be going against my team in this game. I do think the Broncos will win, probably quite comfortably. Uh, just because Adam Reynolds uh, showing his experience uh, lately, so it's been good. And this, I was tempted to go to this game, uh, but Suncourt Stadium is going to be packed. Um, so I'm not, I'm not about that. So yeah, up the Bronx. 
I almost forgot. It is two Queensland versus Queensland games on this week. We have the Broncos versus Dolphins, and then we've got the Cowboys versus the Titans. Uh, fortunately for the Cowboys, they haven't been playing as well as they would have hoped. And Titans playing much better than they probably thought they were going to play. Although I did pick them against uh, the Storm last week. So that's a big brain play. Um, but for this game though, I'm going Cowboys. Um, straight above. Uh, just, I think they'll bounce back. They'll bounce back in a big way. I really struggled with Rabbitohs versus Sea Eagles game. I eventually came down to a team, and it is the Sea Eagles. Um, they are the last undefeated team, two wins and a bye. Rabbitohs, I guess it's going to be the same as last week when Rabbitohs versus Roosters. If Rabbitohs won, I would not be disappointed. Uh, it's going to be the same for this game. If Rabbitohs win, I will not be disappointed. Um, Seagulls, they are playing fantastic footy at the moment. Probably a lot better than I, I must say, unless you're a Manly supporter, you, you didn't think this team was going to go well. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going Seagulls. I'm backing them. I'm somewhat convinced that they're a good team this year. Um, so um, that's why I'm going them. Okay, okay, let's let's talk about this real quick. Years ago, I would always back the Warriors, week in, week out, and they would always lose. This year, however, I haven't I think I've only backed them once. They are playing great footy right now. I think they've finally found a team that um is going to work well together. Um, love Sean Johnson. I think he's a great footy player. Uh, but I think he gets lost at times or disappears. I think going to the Sharks uh, definitely helped rejuvenate his career a bit. Um, so I, I th I'm going Warriors. It's in New Zealand. So I'm backing them in a big way. Okay, Raiders versus Knights, or Knights versus Raiders. Knights home game. I did pick Knights as my wooden spooners, and they do not have Kalen Ponga for, actually, I don't know how long he's out. He might be named this week, I'm not sure. I doubt, if he's playing, that's crazy. He should have a few more weeks out. Um, Raiders would have been, so Knights, Raiders, Tigers. They're probably the three teams that you probably, well, I would have picked as a, a wooden spoon contender. I went with Knights. Raiders, they beat the Sharks, um, which that was a home game, so that's a massive boost to their confidence to start the season. Um, so that's why I'm going to go Raiders. Uh, no, no Ponga, no Knights. Simple as that. There is a little rumor going around that uh, Nico Hines is back for the Sharks. So for that reason alone, if that is what's truly happening, I'm going Sharks. I would not count the Dragons out, however. They, they're still a strong team. Even though they went to sleep the last 10 minutes of the game against the Broncos and let them put on, what do they put on, 22 points? Four tries in the last 10 minutes? Like, that's just not, that's not good brain of footy at all. Um, but if this is true about Nick and Hines, I'm going Sharks. Uh, if, even if he wasn't picked, I'd probably still go Sharks anyway. All right, that is it for round four predictions. Uh, I can't remember if I said Roosters do have that buy this week. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see how things play out this week as well. Um, Dolphins versus Broncos will be my game of the round to watch. Will I watch it? I probably should. Um, 
but yeah, on that, the rest of the games could still be, still be great. Like Dragons, Sharks, uh, Raiders, Knights could end up being nice. Cowboys, Titans could be very good. Um, Eels, Panthers, uh, that is the grand final rematch. Uh, that will probably turn out to be a much better game than potentially last year. If not, it will be great to see Eels definitely 0-4 on a flogging too. Um, but anyway, that is it from me. Uh, come back next week for round five. Mm -hmm.